41 years ago, Israeli basketball champion Tal Brody helped make history by helping Maccabi Tel Aviv win the European Championship for the first time ever. At the time, he made headlines with his famous remark after winning, Israel's on the map and we're staying on the map. Well, today he's dedicating his life to making sure that that happens as the official goodwill ambassador of Israel. And he's joining us in the studio today for Israel's 70th birthday. Now, Tal, I didn't mention the long list of other accomplishments you have. You've received the Israel Prize. Uh, you've lit the torch on Independence Day, Lifetime Achievement Award in the Knesset. It, it goes on. You, you just got an honorary doctorate degree also from Bar Ilan University. So tell us what you do specifically as a goodwill ambassador. It's not only that Israel is on the map and we're staying on the map, but not only in sport, but in everything. Now, as a goodwill ambassador, basically, I've been going uh, throughout North America and Canada and meeting the students on the university and basically in speaking to African-American groups, Hispanic groups, African, uh, uh, all um, the denominations of the Christian groups and the Jewish groups. And basically on the campuses, our problem is that our Jewish kids are under Let's say they're the minority today. There's, a, of the last decade, the influx of Muslim students on the campuses with the guidance of the Muslim organizations. They have a majority on campus against the Jewish students, which I do have to stay, say that many more are standing up for Israel today. Many more are understanding Israel because of the birthright programs, the Young Judea programs, the JNF programs, and that's been a great help to well, us. Well, you know, you've also been traveling around the world beyond just going to campuses and dealing with lots of di different delegations. Have you seen any changes in how Israel is being perceived by the international community since you started back in 2008, 2010? Well, by publicly speaking, the diplomats, they don't really come out in positive statements to Israel because they see what their people see on the television. Unfortunately, the television looks at Israel only from the eyes of Hamas, Hezbollah, what's happening in Syria and Iran. But our life in Israel is completely different. I mean, if you look at the OECD, Israel, uh, the population of Israel has voted. We were about 11th in the world out of 190 some countries that the people in Israel uh, feel the, the happiest of living in yeah. Israel. Or it was the 10th or 11th country where it was voted, uh, where it's best to raise your children. So now, it, the life in Israel is good, Yeah, and, and basically. It's, well, I mean, here's my question for you. Today, what do you view to be one of the biggest challenges that Israel is facing? Well, as far as security, I've been here since the Six Days War. It never felt unsecure, unsecure yeah. in the intifadas or in the basic wars in Lebanon. Uh, we feel secure. We, we're not, it's not 100% anything. Mm -hmm. And we have problems within normal society that has problems. But as far as Israel itself, I think that we've been progressing. We're the first that come when any type of uh, hurricanes or earthquakes in the world, our technology, our medicine. I mean, it's, the, the country has unbelievably progressed. Uh, we have now uh, the Iron Dome, which keeps us safe. Uh, nothing is 100% uh, foolproof, but uh, mm -hmm. I think that uh, in relation to what many people think of Israel, uh, our army will handle everything. But well, our problem is the public diplomacy, what yeah. they call Asbara. We have good people in all the consulates and all the embassies all over the world, but uh, we're at a minority. As I'm glad that the Christian groups are coming up and helping the Jewish groups on campuses against these demonstrations because definitely Israel's not an apartheid state and we don't have walls. We have a security fence and that security fence is like a Lego. There's going to be a peace agreement. If there's going to be a peace agreement in the future, it could be taken down as it was built. And Israel never built fences. The only fences that were built yeah. were from Jordan in 1948 when we were attacked for the first time out of five times that this country was attacked. And the UN was the one that 242 that said that uh, new borders have to be decided between two parties. But we need the other party to come and sit down with us to make the decisions where it's going to be and what will be the future of uh, Palestinians and uh, the Israelis. Well, I think, you know, part of your work as Goodwill Ambassadors to kind of open up discussion for where Israel is headed and what the future is. And, 
And we really thank you for joining us today on Israel's 70th birthday celebration. I'm going to let you go now because I know you need to go and party like every other Israeli in the country. Thank you for joining us, Tal. Thank you.